Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Logical J, and I hope you guys are having a terrific Tuesday so far today. Today I'm here with a very good friend of mine named Tom the Hedgehog, and today we decided to collab on Game Sonic vs. Sailor Moon, the honest truth on who would win. So let's just get into this shit. Have anything to say before we start the video? Hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to scroll down to your Sonic scaling, and you just, you're the Sonic scaler. Yeah. I bet. Okay, so um, Knights has been shown to be an imaginary world. Knights is stated by Yuji Naka himself to be a Jungian archetype. Jungian archetypes mm -hmm. are beyond all mathematics. Well, we're going to get into that later. First, um, Void... Dar Void's darkness was going to destroy the precious stones, which hold up imaginary world. And now we're going to get into what Jungian archetypes are. Jungian archetypes are beyond all, s all categories of space-time, numbers, and dimensions, meaning that they are beyond all mathematics. Inaccessible cardinals are indeed a type of mathematics, and they are stated on the Verse Battles wiki tiering system to be high outer versal. And since Sonic naturally transcends them, he should be really high into the high outer versal tier, if not into boundless. Sonic managed to defeat Infinite in Sonic Forces, while he can scale somewhat to him. Infinite is more powerful than anything Sonic has ever faced before. And if and also if y'all don't believe Sonic Shuffle is canon. It is shown in Sonic and the Secret Rings, and if you don't believe that is canon, Sonic even brings up Sonic and the Secret Rings in Sonic Generations. So yeah, this would mean that current Sonic is pretty high in the high outer reversal. If not, maybe, maybe boundless. Like if you want to wank it a bit, yeah, he's can... around there. Yeah, obviously, considering in order to transcend forms of mathematics like. Jungian archetypes, which are linked, if not transcend inaccessible cardinals, like Tom said earlier in the scaling, you would have to be ridiculously high into high outer, if not straight up boundless. Yeah, like you would need some ridiculous ass scaling, bro. Yep, and for speed, this should be self explanatory. He's just baseline or elven because he needs to be outer versal or higher to qualify for elven speed. Yep, like, once you're out of reversal, you automatically gain, um, irrelevance. Yep, so, let's just move on to Sailor Moon scaling. This is just gonna be a complete wash, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Yep, alright, so, AP slash strength, easily galaxy level. She was verbatim stated multiple times to have saved the galaxy. She also got debunked to galaxy level by the character stats and profiles wiki. Now, these scans from the manga said that she saved the galaxy countless and numerous of times. And I've went over these debunks in three of my videos that I pit her up against Goku, Naruto, and Luffy. Again, I'll leave these debunks in the description below. And for speed, she is easily MFTL+, plus as she can cross intergalactic distances, and her attacks went through several galaxies. Again, the scans are up on screen for that. And for hacks and abilities, again, I'm not going to cover these, as I've covered them before in my Naruto vs. Sailor Moon video and my Goku vs. Sailor Moon video. Again, I'm not going to link them in the description below, just go check out my channel if you haven't already. Now, for win cons for Sailor Moon, she basically has none, as none of her attacks would work on Sonic, as Sonic is pure of heart, he's a good character, he's the main character, he's the MC, and as I've covered before, none of Sailor Moon's attacks work on beings of good, her powers only work on beings of evil. So... And even if... Even, like, and even then, Sailor Moon's attack potency would not be enough to even harm Sonic. If she tried to punch Sonic, her fist is gonna br like her hand is gonna break on whatever part of Sonic that she punches. That would even include Sonic's nutsack. Would you One punch man reference? 
Oh, and Sailor Moon sucks at using physical attacks anyways. Like, she's not a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. She's not a kickboxer. Like, she doesn't use physical attacks like someone like Goku, Naruto, Luffy, or Saitama. Heck, I know Sonic... However, Sonic... However, Sonic, he's really good at stuff like that. If you play Sonic Frontiers, like, do you see the type of combo Sonic can land on enemies in Sonic Frontiers? Yeah, Sonic is actually quite good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and ranged quite attacks. Good, bro. He's an expert at it. Like, he was even stated to be a comparable to Knuckles, who knows martial arts. Oh, really? That's ridiculously impressive. Yep. Yeah, bro, Sonic, like, a lot of people really underestimate this dude's battle IQ, but, like, Sonic is smart. He's a smart guy. Yep. I mean, people tend to underestimate him, considering he is still only 16. But that's further from <laughs> no, the point. Actually, like, he's actually, like, in his... I'm pretty sure he's in his, like, late 20s now to, like, early 30s. Really? Maybe, like, mid-30s. God, I've got yeah. to catch up on Sonic. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Anyways, like, none of Sailor Moon's hacks like, force field creation, telekinesis, telepathy... Reactive evolution. Oh, even, even, even then, with for, with force field creation, uh, fun fact, Sonic can do that as well, via the insta-shield. Oh yeah, I Ben knew that. Yep. Oh, oh and uh, telekinesis. <laughs> uh, it's like Sonic didn't fight somebody with telekinesis. Uh, <coughs> Silver. <coughs> oh yeah, Silver's telekinesis far, far blows Sailor Moon's out of the water. Like, I don't yeah, even the, think I need the... to explain that. Like, Silver yeah, just... fought the likes of Solaris, who... I'm just gonna let you explain the scaling real quick. Yeah, Solaris was stated to be above the concept of dimensions, meaning that he is above all order of dimensions, including infinite and transcendental dimensions. So, this would With... put Solaris around the ranges from outer to high outer, correct? Well... Yeah, via that alone. But you can use the imaginary world scaling to get Solaris much higher, since he is way stronger than someone like Void, who was stated that she was that she was gonna destroy imaginary world. Yeah, and also Solaris, I believe, was stated to be super dimensional, which should put him around like possibly fourth or fifth dimensional with a supreme lowball, mind you. Yeah, Solaris is a force to be reckoned. And Silver, with his telekinesis, was able to restrain this guy in both his yeah, base and add, super form, just, right? Just to, add fuel to the, yeah, just to add fuel to the fire, Silver takes out his freaking white quilly-ass dick. Don't, he don't, 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 so hard, don't. He gets freaking sent flying across the universe. <laughs> oh my god. He just pulls out his wee-wee. We, get, we get it, we get hard. it, we get it. Silver, <laughs> silver bodies, Sailor Moon. Sonic is just overkill. So even if Sailor Moon's no, powers no, no, were to Sonic work is on equal to silver, Sonic is equal to silver. It's stated somewhere in a guidebook that Sonic and Silver are equals in terms of power. Oh damn! Yeah. Even if so so even if Sailor Moon's powers would work on Sonic, which they won't, but let's just play hypothetical here. Even if they were. Sonic would Sonic just. Sonic has encountered them before. Like he knows how to deal with stuff like this. He's had personal experience with these powers before. He knows how to deal with enemies. BFR. He knows how to deal with channeling. He knows how to deal with absorption. He knows how to deal with matter manipulation. Yeah, like Sonic can just, like this dude could potentially beat Goku. Like this, this guy is that strong. He could probably beat Goku. I mean, I consider. I mean, considering I considering the scaling Dash presented, and considering my scaling, and cosmic scaling, they can get to near identical levels of power. Yeah. So. But at the end of the day, both do solo a majority of fiction, and they majority do. Majority of fiction. I could argue. I mean, I could argue if they team up, they could solo all of fiction. Based. Anyways, they both solo Fodder Moon. Over Sonic's Haxes first. No, nah, no, nah, we don't. No, nah, let's just let's just stop. We we already know that Sonic completely 
blows up Sailor Moon. We don't even need to get into his hacks. Yep. Anyways, in conclusion, Sonic speed blitzes, one shots, and solos the whole verse. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this collab. And if you guys want more collabs with Tom, I'll leave his channel link in the description below. And that's going to be it for this video. Road to 1K. Road to 1K for him. Road to 300 for me. And three, two, one. Cope harder. Cope harder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace out. Goodbye.